In this video, we're going to look at the problem of maximizing the area of a Norman window given a restriction on its perimeter. Alright, hi everybody. So I'm just going to quickly do a, a Norman window question. This one pops up a lot in, in calculus texts. Uh, it, it's a kind of a classic sort of a problem here. Now a Norman window is one that's got the semicircle on top and then rectangular window underneath here. And so usually you're given some sort of limiting uh, feature here and in this particular case here we're going to find the dimensions of the Norman window with a maximum area and here's the limiting the limiting uh, factor here is that the perimeter is only 16 feet. Now remember the perimeter is the, just the outside distance here. This line that I've drawn across here isn't part of that. I've only drawn that to, to separate the, the semicircle from the rectangular window portion here. So right here would be the center of that that circle and I'm going to use X to label the radius of the circle. Now if that's true, okay, if, we're, if we follow that, then that means this length right across here is going to be 2x and then, well there's really no specific relationship here between the width here and the length that we can tell right off the bat here, so I'm just going to call that y. I do know that the perimeter though is supposed to be 16, so I know that if I've got, if I take 2x and add two y's, one for each side there, two y's, plus, and then the distance, basically half the, the circumference of the circle, because there really is only half the circle here, so half the circumference of a, or sorry, the circumference of a circle, I should say, would be two pi r, this is going to be half of that, so just pi r, and I very specifically chose x to be the radius, so there we go, that's going to equal 16, okay, so that's the relationship that I'm getting from this statement here that the perimeter is 16 feet. So y, 2x, y, and then this is going to be pi x. Now I'm trying to figure out what the maximum area is. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to come up with an expression for my area that I am then going to, to take the derivative of, set that equal to zero to get the dimensions here. Okay, so my area here, well the area of the the area of the rectangular portion, that's going to be easy, it's just going to be 2xy. And then up here, we've got the semicircle here, half the circle here, so it's just going to be 1 half of pi times the radius squared, okay? Pi r squared, uh, 1 half of pi r squared. Okay, now I am going to take the derivative of this in just a moment here, but i got to figure out which variable do I want to leave in here. And when you take a look at it here, I think it's, it's probably pretty obvious that what I want to do here is I want to get an expression for y and plug it into here, uh, just because y only shows up once there. So when I take a quick look at, at this expression right here, to isolate the y, I'm going to move over the 2x and the pi x, so I'm going to get here that y will equal, well it's going to be 16, minus the 2x minus the pi x, and then to get the y by itself, there would be a 2y uh, left over there so on the left-hand side. I need to get rid of the 2, the coefficient. So I'm going to divide the whole thing here by 2. And actually, I'm going to take that one step further because I'm going to distribute that 2 to each one of those terms. That's going to get me 8 minus x minus 1 half pi x. Okay. Now, actually I didn't really need to do that because of, of what my expression here looks like, but that, that's okay. So I wanted y equal to to that expression right here. So now I'm going to substitute that in into my expression here for the area. 2x 8 minus x minus 1 half pi x. So that's going to be 2x, that's the y, plus 1 half pi x squared. Okay. And now I'm going to distribute the the co uh, the, sorry, the 2x here through. So it'll be 16x minus 2x squared, uh, then the 2x multiplied by the negative 1 half pi x, that's going to end up, uh, what have we got here, it's going to end up being, the 2 and the half will cancel, so negative pi x squared plus 1 half pi x squared. All right, now, a uh, little bit of simplifying here, there's really not much we can do here. Uh, I'm going to move the 16 to the back here, this will be negative 2x squared, I've got negative pi x squared plus a half of pi x squared. Now let's just think about that. I've got 
half of a pi x squared and I'm going to subtract a full pi x squared. That's going to leave me with negative one half pi x squared. And if you're not quite sure, if you're not believing me, just get common denominators. This will become two pi x squared over two and then you subtract uh, the negative and then you add the one. So you're still going to get that negative one half pi x squared uh, plus the 16. Let's leave that at the end there. So this is my area, here's my area, here's my area, and now I've got area down as an expression only in terms of the variable x, which we're using as the, the radius here. So now I'm going to take the derivative, a primed. And that will be negative 4 pi, sorry, 4 pi, 4 x, I should say, negative 4 x, bring down the exponent. Uh, same thing here, I'm going to bring down the exponent, that's going to cancel with the 1 half, there, the negative 1 half, so it'll be negative pi x. And then the derivative of 16, oh, I'm sorry, that should have been a 16x. I was going to say, I, I was assuming there should have been more to that expression there. I'm sorry, I forgot. The 2x multiplied by 8 is not just 16, it's 16x. So there's going to be a plus 16 when I, when I take the derivative over here. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, but I did catch it, which is good, and that sort of thing happens. Now what you do here is we're going to let the derivative be equal to 0. Okay, because we're looking for where the slope of the tangent is zero, it's horizontal. I am going to, let's say I'm going to bring these two terms over, so I will get 16 is equal to 4x plus pi x. I will factor out the common x, and then divide. So 16 over 4 plus pi is equal to x. All right, so there's my, my value for x there. Okay, so if you that's the if you will that's going to be the radius of the of the the wind uh, the circular part of this, the width. Okay, so let's think of it like this here. Then we'll put things together here. So my radius is going to be 16 over 4 plus pi. The width of the rectangular portion is going to be twice that. So it'll be 32 over 4 plus pi. Now the length of the window, that was the y coordinate, that is going to equal 8 minus 16 over 4 plus pi minus 1 half pi multiplied by 16 over 4 plus pi. Okay, and so let's, let's see what we can do here. This is going to be 8 minus 16 over 4 plus pi. Uh, when I distribute that that one-half uh, through this expression right here that's going to be minus uh, 8 pi over 4 plus pi. Putting those together, I'm going to get 8 plus, oops, sorry, I don't know why I would put a plus there. Let's just do it like this. 8 minus, this is going to be 8 pi plus 16 over 4 plus pi. And I can do that uh, because the denominators are both the same. Now, before someone asks, well, why is that a positive sign here? Okay, when I'm subtracting both of those, well, essentially what I've done, I've done is I factored that out, and put the negative out front. Now, I'm going to get common denominators, so I'm going to multiply the 8 here by 4 plus pi, so that my overall denominator is 4, uh, 4 plus pi, so that will be 8, and I'll do this in steps here, because uh, I know uh, not everybody is happy with me when I take too many, too many steps there um, in my head. So now let's multiply that through. That'll become 32 plus 8 pi. Then I'll distribute the negative through minus 8 pi minus 16 over 4 plus pi. And you can see right away we're getting right near the end here. Uh, 8 pi minus 8 pi cancels. 32 minus 16 is going to be 16 over 4 plus pi. So now take a look at that. Isn't that, isn't that interesting how that worked? Okay, where the, the length is going to be equal to the radius. Really, really interesting result. I hope that makes sense.